Okay, so this is just going to be a quick explainer of malt and pears, patches, and all that jazz, and then we'll go look at some after that. So, uh, malt in general is mucosa associated lymphatic tissue. So let's break down this first. Mucosa is in a, in a tubular organ, so any organ that's hollow. The mucosa is a mucous membrane lining a hollow space. So malt's really a general term. And I think that's where a lot of students' confusion comes from. They're like, so is this thing malt and this other thing not malt? Um, and the answer is malt is like a, a parent term of a bunch of other things. So let's see here, for example, if I were to put malt as a heading, It includes all of the other terms that I'm going to list here um, at their, that are just types of malt, different types, and they're named by location. So Payer's Patch is a type of malt. Galt is a type of malt, and actually GALT stands for gut. So if I were to make this a little hierarchy, I would say malt is any mucosa associated lymphatic tissue. And under that one subheading is GALT, which is gut associated lymphatic tissue. So specific to the digestive system. And then under GALT, Payer's patch is a specific type. Um, so it's still malt, but it's also galt, and it falls under its own category because it has a very specific location and appearance. So it's in the ileum, and it tends to be more strongly nodular than the malt elsewhere in the GI tract. So it's really a series of nested terms. So Payer's patch is a type of galt and galt is a type of malt. So if I were gonna ask about pears patches specifically, I would circle the whole thing and I'll do that for you in a minute. And the question wording would say something along the lines of identify the specific structure circled. Um, so that would be your cue that I'm trying to get you to say something that is very specific to the place on the slide where we are looking only, not a general term. All right, so let's go look at some. <clears throat> 